first question. Like I have some of my family members, right? Like one of my brother, he has um, had open heart surgery, but he's over in Chicago, right? Then yeah. I have another artist in New York. She kind of had like some stents put in her heart, so she had like yeah. some things of heart surgery. Um, I, I just, I just know people. There are some folks down here that I know here, and two has dealt with cancer two times. Another lady, she has cancer in her blood. Yep. So again, they're not awake per se, right? But mm -hmm. just in me thinking, you know, these are people that I would like to see, but they're 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 all over, so to speak. What is your thought around that, or, or do would they probably have to wait until after the you know the six weeks time or something? Yeah, look, it's, again, this is totally up to them um, and we have to respect their choice. If they're not aware of what's going on, um, then you need to explain it to them. If they're not listening or they're not interested, then they have to be free to be able to choose the treatment and the life that they want. Um, but my suspicion is that after our loved ones and, and all that don't believe, that are not aware, after they see how good we look and our lives how our lives have changed they will want to get on board they really will want to get on board and i want to get on board as fast as possible okay so we're going to be the disclosure for the ones who are unaware of what what we're doing <laughs> unaware of what there is but until that time they have to be you know, they have to be allowed to continue with the treatments and all that they choose, even if we don't agree with it or if we know that there is something better that could cure them within a couple of hours. Um, this is their journey, their life and their choice. But your experience will be what brings them over to the med beds. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's totally up to them. And unfortunately, many people are not going to want it because it seems too good to be true. There must be a catch, and we know there isn't. But humans are a creature of habit, and they like to keep their their beliefs that if it's too good to be true, then obviously there's something wrong, and it's not true. So, um, yeah, we have to so, be really accepting and patient with them. Okay, because I think it's just about them even being able to wrap their head. Because even some of the stuff with the politics, people don't even just go over their head. They can't even understand yeah. the election. So much less. Yeah. We talking about John Carter, much less, but just for us, the med bed for us, the 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 health. And I know at some point everybody will be on, but they may have to, you know, listen to what you're saying. May have to wait if they can't even grasp this, so they may have to wait. Uh, but but then but yeah. then next, and what and two and same thing for someone who's in a different country too, right? Same yeah. same thing. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. Again, look, if you've got a, a parent or or a family member that's in a different country that needs help needs medical help straight away and you know you obviously don't look after them they're not your dependents but they do need help just mention them at your med bed uh, when you're booking your med bed appointment and they will be able to you know advise you on that they may even be able to to um send it across to that country the med bed team in that country and then they can send someone out or contact them or or something. There's many different ways around it. But if you do have someone needs help in another country or another state or something, then mention that when you book your own med bed appointment. Okay. Okay, perfect. And then uh, um, lastly, like um, like you know, like in the movie Matrix, right? They say, hey, yep. I need to how to fly this plane. I need a jump program. What do you think mm -hmm. are possible like languages or courses? That you yep. know, because to me, one of the things I will I will want to download would be speak different languages. One, two, Absolutely. certain courses around like project management or maybe accounting that would help me in doing the humanitarian project and being able to look and track. Yeah, yeah. Basically, any language that you need for your projects, you will receive. Any extra knowledge. Like my mum hasn't got a clue about managing a center, but she wants to. So automatically that information will be downloaded into her brain. My brother wants to do the gardening, but wouldn't know a, a, a weed from a plant. That information will be downloaded. Okay. And that's automatic. Okay. They will discuss 
your projects with you and what you actually need. Um, you don't need to be a higher frequency for that because actually you need it in order to do your job. Okay, it's not a want. But if you want to learn, if you want to play a musical instrument or change your voice so you can sing, then that's a want. That's not a need. Then you do need to be a higher frequency for that. Okay, so don't worry. Just discuss with the MedBed team and they'll sort you out. No problem. Oh, they have create. They will create a monster. Pandora box will open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, My uh, love it. Love it. Yes. Um. Look out, world, once it's off that med bed. Oh, my God. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, um, I will say that, that we are at, um, at, at, the, at the end of, of, of two hours. What I'm going to do now is just end the recording uh, so it's not too long. And I thank everyone who's watching this call. We'll, we'll um, continue uh, beyond recording until everyone is ready. So here we go. Stop.